right yeah i want to show you how you can draw an ellipse by using auxiliary concentric circle method how you can draw an ellipse by using auxiliary concentric circle method if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel try as much as possible to subscribe and put on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification and don't forget to share my videos with friends who are technical drawing students and make sure you like every video that you see on my channel and keep on practicing now let's go into the work as i said i want to construct an ellipse by using auxiliary concentric circle method whenever you are asked to construct an ellipse by using this method two things will be given to you the first one is the diameter of the big circle which is also known as the major circle you'll be given the major axis and you also be given the minor axis so the major axis is for the big circle why the minor axis is for the small circle so let's go and see how the work can be done now the first thing that you need to do here is to draw a vertical center line and then you draw an horizontal center line all right as i said the major axis that i will be using is 120 millimeters 120 millimeters while the minor axis is 80 millimeters so first of all i will take a measurement of the minor axis that 80 i will divide it by 2 that is 40 i will take a measurement of 40 millimeters on my ruler um okay okay so this is 40 millimeters then you draw a circle put it at the center here and draw a circle like this So draw a circle, then the major axis is 120 millimeters. Divide 120 by 2, that will give us 60. So take a measurement of 60 millimeters on your ruler with your compass as I'm doing it here. And put it at the center here. Draw a circle. Alright, after you have drawn the two circles, you have to divide the major circle, that is the big circle, into 12 equal parts. You have to divide it into 12 equal parts. So, I believe you know how to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. I'm going to divide it into 12 equal parts, then I will come back and show you the next thing to do. Alright, I've divided the circle into 12 equal parts, and I've numbered from 1 to 12. So, the next thing that we are going to do here is that, we are going to connect 6 and 12 together with a straight line. Connect 6 12 together with a straight line as I'm doing it here. Then you connect 5 and 11 together with a straight line. Then connect 3 and 9 together with a straight line. Also, connect 2 and 8 together with a straight line. Okay, so the point has been connected together. 1 has been connected to 7 and 4 has been connected to 10 already. So the next thing that we are going to do here is that from every point on the major circle from the every point on the major circle or the big circle you have to draw vertical lines so for this two three four two three five six you have to draw vertical lines up and for eight nine ten okay no no eight nine eleven and twelve you have to draw vertical lines downward but this is how you are going to just look at the way I'm going to do it here. So what you need to do here, you put your set square at this point 
and you draw a vertical line up a little bit then bring it to do the same at 12 because 2 and 12 are the same point so then 3 and 11 draw a vertical line up here and draw it down at 11 here then you come to 5 and 10 draw a vertical line up here draw a vertical line down and you come to 6 and 8 draw a vertical line up and draw a vertical line down okay so having done that the next thing that you need to do is that from the point that we have on the major minor circle all right the points on the minor circle have been numbered one one prime two prime three prime up to 12 prime so the next thing that we are going to do here all right the next thing that we are going to do here is that from this point 12 prime and 5 prime draw a horizontal line here to the left you draw the horizontal line at 3 prime to the right so when it, wherever it meets the vertical line you stop it there then from 2 prime draw a horizontal line to the right and from 6 prime on the minor circle draw a horizontal line to the left then you take it up from 8 prime on the minor circle you draw a horizontal line to the left and from 12 prime on the minor circle you draw a horizontal line to the right then you take it up to 9 prime from 9 prime on the minor circle you draw a horizontal line to the left and from 11 prime or the minor circle you draw a horizontal line to the right so this is how it will look so how are we going to get the helix the point of intersection of the vertical line on the on the horizontal line with point 1 here and point 7 here on the major major circle and also with point 4 prime and point 10 prime on the minor circle then the point of intersection of the two lines i mean this point this point this point this point here this point this point and this point here will be joined together with the use of a french curve so let's look at how this can be done so you take your french curve Take your French cuff and set it. Don't have to rush. Adjust this the French cuff. Adjust it as I'm doing here. So these three points, I can join them together. I can join these three points together. So just look at the way I'm doing it. So I can join these three points together. Okay. All right, so three points have been joined together. Then I can connect. I'll connect this point together. Okay, then turn this to this side. So adjust your French curve so I can connect this point together. Okay, so I'm done with half of the helix. So the next is to connect this together. I'm almost done. And then turn it here. Then, 
all right so i'm done with the construction of the helix so this is the ellipse that we are asked to construct with the use of auxiliary concentric circle methods as simple as i've shown it here do your own your own you can use the same dimensions that i used and keep on practicing subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed and share this video with friends who are technical drawing students thank you and god bless you